Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown series. In at number 42, it's a slice of arcade gaming history, we're going to be looking at Monsters from Acornsoft. Now this was released in 1982 by Acornsoft and developed by Tim Dobson, uh, but it was actually based on a previous game from 1980 from the Japanese company Universal Entertainment Corporation called Space Panic. Now, this was an arcade cabinet game. Um, it wasn't particularly successful from a commercial standpoint when it first came out, but it has subsequently been recognized uh, by gaming historians as being the first ever platform game, predating even Donkey Kong, which is probably one of the most famous platform games that has ever been released. Um, so Space Panic itself, although not especially popular from a commercial perspective, um, it actually gave rise to many, many, many uh, clones that came out across pretty much every console and platform going back in the 80s, ranging from the Apple II, the Atari, the IBM PC, the Spectrum, the Dragon, the Auric, the uh, Amstrad CPC, um, various flavors of uh, Acorn uh, computers as well, including the BBC Micro and of course the Acorn Electron. So Monsters is the BBC Micro and later Acorn Electron uh, variant of Space Panic, and that's what we're gonna be taking a look at now. All right, here we have it, Acorn Soft Monsters. Always a big fan of the Acorn Soft logo. I like the way that it's picked out in those little squares there. Um, Monsters is one of probably the most famous of Acorn Soft's games. Um, I think most people will be familiar with this one. Um, fairly popular with Beeb Gamers and Acorn uh, Gamers in general, really. So, Acorn Soft Monsters, what's it all about? So, essentially, very simple controls, uh, left, right, up, and down, um, but also the uh, slightly cryptic dig and fill, which we shall find out more about in a minute. So here's our gaming grid, and here's our character at the bottom here, moving left and right, and as you can see, here are the eponymous monsters. Um, a little bit like roaming strawberries, and here we go. Here we are, and that's dispatched with our first monster. So that's the essential game dynamic. Uh, you have to dig a hole in preparation for the monster, and these red ones are fairly stupid, uh, and they will generally just walk into the hole. However, if you fail to fill in the hole before the monster has, uh, or basically if you just fail to fill in the hole, I should say, it'll turn into a new... F oh, okay, well I'm wrong there. <laughs> Maybe that only happens on later levels. Um, I'm fairly sure that uh, when you when you get at least a further ahead, um, when you dig when you dig a hole and the monster escapes from it, it turns into a different kind of monster. So, and a, a slightly more vicious and more intelligent one at that. Yes, you can go through your own holes as well, which is quite helpful if you need to escape from a monster in a hurry. Or maybe we'll leave that hole there as a trap and see whether or not my, my theory about it turning into another monster um, is correct. Let's fill this one in for now. Is that other one going to come up? No? Okay, maybe we'll go over here. Maybe it's a little bit safer. Oh, unless he's going to... No, he's coming up. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> oh, dear. After calling them stupid, the uh, the red strawberry monsters got the better of me there. Uh, okay, let's make for higher ground. I think that spot up in the top left is a good one to be in because uh, the monsters can't sneak up behind you from there. So here we go. Let's dig a dig a hole here. Hopefully we can lure a monster to it. Maybe we can get him to transform as well. Ah, except of course. <laughs> No, because the problem with this position is I haven't got a way of escape. Now, if you don't manage... Oh, there you go. Double monster clash there. That's always good. Um, if you don't manage to f dig the hole fully... Ooh, hang on. Ooh, oh, dear. Monster's on the rampage. Yes, if you don't dig the hole fully before the monster shows up, he, he just kind of gets stuck for a few seconds, and then he's able to release himself. Oh, hang on. Let's see if we can... Let's leave that one. Let's see whether he does what I was expecting. There we go. Not quite sure why that didn't happen on the first level. Perhaps it's uh, some sort of um, reprieve that you get because these ones are a lot, a lot more fearsome. Oh dear! Oh dear! I, I may be in for a bit of a spot of bother here if I can't. It doesn't look like I can't dispatch him. Oh, I can't. Yes, I remember now. Oh dear! The only way you can kill these green ones is to is to essentially get. Uh, oh, he's turned into a. Even more vicious one now, <laughs> oh dear! I've made quite a quite a mess for myself. Yes, the only way you can get rid of him is if he if he comes out underneath. Oh dear! Yes, underneath another monster. So essentially, now the only way I'm going to be able to get rid of either of these two is if I can hope for the. There we go. Oh oh no! Oh, I missed him. Now, 
Oh dear, my oxygen's running out. Oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> right, now unless that green one decides to go down the ladder, which he's not going to. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, that was quite a challenge. Now, okay, we've reverted to all red monsters. So the lesson of that tale there is that... Uh, oh, there you go. See, that's what happens if you don't quite dig your hole successfully. Yeah, so that, that technique that you saw... Uh, oh, oh, dear. That you saw me uh, do in, a, in an earlier level way, we managed to whack the monster underneath um, by hitting it with a with a monster above that we were filling in the hole. Um, that's the only way you can get rid of the green and presumably the uh, the, the the white monster as well. Um, so that really does make it quite a challenge because unfortunately filling in the hole isn't isn't quite enough. Okay, not a lot of activity happening here. Uh, let's dig some more holes. Mm -hmm. These red monsters have been quite uh, quite clever, recognising that uh, those those holes are not good news for them. Okay. Now the old the old uh, sort of use of dig and um, fill in a, in combination with multiple platforms as well. This game was really pushing uh, the what was sort of the known limits of of arcade games at the time because uh, as I say, in addition to being the sort of first platformer as um, as Space Panic, it's the originator, is known to be. Um, this dig and fill mechanic was also fairly unique. Um, I don't think there were any other games that had this particular game mechanic. Um, I believe in Space Panic. Oh dear, too much talking. Um, I believe in Space Panic. The concept is that you're you're in some sense digging a black hole and and blowing the monster into the black hole with your with your with your with your device. Um, which I think is a fairly generous interpretation of what really seems to be a, a shovel, let's be fair. Um, don't think that uh, the Acorn Soft edition of this game makes any bold claims to black holes or anything like that. Ah, oh, there you go. See, that's, that's what we needed to do on the earlier level. Now, in addition to uh, accidentally creating green monsters, or deliberately in my case, um, you can also uh, find on some of the later levels that you're you're stuck with a green monster that you have no no say about. He's just there by default. I can't remember how how much further. Oh, got an extra life there. Bonus. I haven't referenced it directly, but you'll have noticed the oxygen bar in the in the bottom right there. So you do have to keep an eye on your oxygen supply because um, if you if you allow it to run too low, obviously that's curtains for you, regardless of how many monsters you might have dispatched at the time. So you do need to keep an eye on that one. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, stuck between a rock and a hard monster there. Uh, okay. There's quite a lot of these monsters on this level, actually. Um, you can't dig the uh, the blue surface at the bottom. You've probably already guessed that. You haven't seen me try doing it, but uh, yes, that blue surface with the uh, oxygen bar beneath it is impregnable. So no 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 uh, no point trying to dig that. Um, oh, monsters, monsters, monsters. Oh no, he ran away. Come on, there we go. All right, let's see if we can dig another hole. When there are this many monsters, you you do have to sort of. Ah, that's a little bit annoying. Yes, you do have to be a little bit sort of conveyor belt about dispatching some of them, just so that you can get to some of the higher levels. I do like the the, the googly eyes that you get when they when they fall into the hole. That is quite entertaining. Um, hopefully, we'll see that again in a second. Yeah, so <laughs> it's quite a funny, uh, quite a funny little uh, detail there. Um, this game, when it uh, when it came out, uh, I think at some of the uh, Acorn Soft trade fairs and and uh, sort of promotional events, they uh, they used to give out badges which had a little picture of one of these strawberry monsters on it, and uh, with the uh, with the slogan "All of my friends are monsters," which uh, I thought was uh, quite a nice little uh, little touch there. Right, so we've made it through to I think the fourth level, and I believe we will now start to see yes, green monsters by default. So. In a strange sort of way, you need to preserve your red monsters if you want to be in with a chance of getting rid of the uh, green ones. So let's see whether or not we can get the right sequencing here. Uh, mm, okay, just a big collective of monsters over there. And what we really need is for that green one to go down the ladder. Yeah, so that's not happening, is it? No. Ah, so look, he's come down. No, 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 no. no. Chasing me, isn't he? Cheeky monster. Oh no! I've... 
Oh dear. <laughs> There's nothing you can do at that point. Oh, it's a good thing I got that extra life earlier. Otherwise, it'd be uh, end of the uh, end of the sh end of the road for me. Uh, okay. Let's see whether or not we can engineer a situation in which the, the green one comes under the R. No. Uh, I've got one red monster left to use as my uh, weapon against the green monster now. Mm. Oh dear. Chasing me now as well. Oh no! Oh no! Monster sandwich. <laughs> uh, well, that was game over. Okay, well we'll give that another go. I think these rather good fun old monsters. So I have uh, I've left this one in for a sort of a while uh, in terms of waiting to bring it into the rankings, partly because of its historic place in the in the world of video games. I mean, it is as I said in the introduction. You know, the, 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 the sort of world's first, if you like, of platform games. Um, not not so well known, actually, to, to everybody. I think if you were to ask most people what was the first platform game, um, they might think of something like Donkey Kong, um, which, uh, you know, is obviously very, very famous as a, as a platformer. But, um, yes, although an early one, it uh, was, was obviously nevertheless a platform game that... Uh, let's just dig a bunch of holes, shall we, and see which one he falls into. There we go. Uh, yes, so Monsters, or Space Panic, as the original was known, uh, predated Donkey Kong. So, so that's one reason for bringing it in uh, at uh, number 42. But, I mean, the other is it's just a really good game, and I have many fond memories of playing this. It was definitely a, a sort of go-to favourite of mine when I was younger. Um, I think partly because it's, you know, it's a nice, easy game... Oops. Nice, easy game to understand. Um, but it has got that sort of little extra detail if you like it's not just about sort of evading monsters or oh dear yes if you dig even so much as a small hole you can't then walk across it unfortunately this is a sort of simple dynamic without being too uh, without being too taxing in terms of how to play it but it is challenging you know especially in the later levels when the uh, the, the sort of game dynamic of just digging and filling in holes is is no longer enough to uh, Oh no! <laughs> oh, now that's interesting, isn't it? He's uh, he's turned into the green. Oh, I suppose we're on the. Are we on the second? I can't remember if we're on the second level now. I suppose we are. Hmm. Okay. Now we're stuck with a green monster. Oh dear. Uh, really need him to go down to the uh, level below. Really. Oh, I wasn't paying attention there. I didn't see the monster come up behind me. Oh dear. Uh, right, well, at least that's reset the green monster back to a red monster, which uh, gives me some some degree of hope. So unfortunately, I, I have to find that sort of getting into the situation where you manage to clobber a monster underneath the one that you're filling in, I, it's not... Oh, oh, no. Oh, dear. It's not an easy thing to engineer. You know, you, you, you have to... Uh, really sort of try and strategize as to how exactly to get it to work especially with the green ones being a lot more vicious so they do uh, they do chase you much more so than the red ones tend to um ah yeah, he's he's run away from my hole no here we go yes you've got a sort of interesting artificial intelligence to these red monsters they're sort of partly hostile partly cowardly you know they 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 Yes, I don't know what what exactly the algorithm is that dictates how they move, but they they sort of sometimes they come towards the hole, other times they sort of avoid it. Um, ah, there we go. Right, okay, let's fill him in. Excellent stuff. With the oxygen bar at the bottom, of course, there is a there is a, a need to get through as many of the monsters as you can as quickly as possible, because otherwise you will suffocate. I think the oxygen bar must be a nod to the idea of this being set in outer space. I mean, I suppose to a certain extent it would need to be set in outer space, otherwise where would all these monsters have come from? Um, having said that, in Felix fa Felix's factory, uh, Felix in the factory, sorry, we did see uh, monsters in a conventional warehouse setting, so when it comes to uh, Beeb games or arcade games in general... Ah! Monster sandwich time. Uh, yes, there doesn't need to be too much logic involved. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? I, I think... He, oh! straight into the mouth of the monster yes I, I hadn't sort of stopped to think about it until now but uh, yes losing a life in monsters it uh, unfortunately resets the level i think it does that partly because of the green monsters obviously if it didn't reset the level uh, and you had green monsters in operation 
uh, you wouldn't be able to get past the level, obviously, if there was only one green monster and no red ones left. So I think it... Oh, there you go. Uh, it, uh, it needs to reset on that basis. But it is a little bit frustrating, especially on some of the more monster-heavy levels, if you've killed off a good chunk of them and then you lose a life and it's back to, uh, back to square one again. Now, some people say that they're not too keen on the uh, the sound of the uh, the little chap running up and down the ladders and the sort of noise of his noise of his footprints going beep 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 beep. Um, I, I don't know. I I think it adds a little bit of character to the game personally. Um, I don't I don't find that as irritating as some sort of continuous sound effects that you get on certain games. It kind of has uh, at least opted for a beep sound rather than the uh, sort of white noise. I think my, my my challenge with white noise sounds on, on beep games is that the white noise is often a lot louder than the sort of conventional beeps. Um, so I think that, that grates a little bit more than, than the beeping of him. Although, I, having said that, I, oh, oh no, beeps don't really correspond with footsteps, but let's, let's, not, be too, uh, let's not be too picky about these things. Uh, it's a shame that our, our character doesn't really have much in the way of sort of facial features or anything like that. I mean, compared to the monsters, he's fairly oh, oh dear, he's fairly bland looking. Um, looks a little bit like Rupert Bear actually. If anyone knows Rupert Bear, he's kind of got the uh, he's got the sort of colour scheme of Rupert Bear really. He's got yellow trousers, red top, and obviously a white white face as Rupert Bear being a, a white bear. I suppose technically his trousers should be stripy yellow rather than just plain yellow, but uh, there you go. I don't know whether it makes it more fun to imagine him to be Rupert Bear, really. For those of you who don't know who Rupert Bear is, you're probably thinking, what is he talking about? Okay, here we go, last one. I mean, if his if his face was yellow in in common with his trousers, I suppose he'd look a bit more like Winnie the Pooh, although rather a, rather a slender, sort of svelte version of Winnie the Pooh, I should say. He's, uh... Okay, here we go. Ah, didn't quite get that lined up there. Not that I needed to in this particular case, but obviously it's always good to get a double monster bashing if you can. I think you get more points that way as well. Right, there we go. Some steadfast progress here. Let's see if he takes the bait. Yep. No. 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 He's thought better of it. Hmm. Maybe we should dig some more holes. Oh dear. No, he's chasing me now. Uh, okay. Let's dig one over here as well. Let's dig another one here. It's quite helpful that you can you can go through the holes. Well, here we are. It's got holes on every level now. Uh, oh, hang on. I might, have made my, I might have made this a bit of a problem for myself. Oh, no! We've spawned a green meanie. Ooh, that wasn't so clever after all. Getting too uh, too ambitious there. Oh, dear. Well, there's no point filling him in. Because he'll just reappear if I do that. Let's work out which way he's going. Oh, no. He's turned into an even faster monster. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I was too slow. Oh, and now the red ones come up here. Ah. It'd really help if that red one would go down the ladder, but he's not going to, is he? No, no there we go again. <laughs> he's not... Oh, oh no! <laughs> My oxygen was running out too. Now, you see, on a level like that, you really do need it to reset, because... Uh, Yes, a white monster like that it would have caused me all sorts of tr trouble. I'm not sure if, if white monster is the final stage of monster evolution. I suppose I should have tried leaving him in the uh, in the hole for a bit longer to see whether or not uh, he turned into something else. I think they only come in red, green and white variations. I suppose technically, given the colour scheme of the game, you could have a yellow monster. Uh, obviously bearing in mind the colour palette and possibly a... Oh dear. Oh dear. Possibly a pink one too. Um, okay. Well, let's see how we get on with this last life here. Uh, okay, let's try just putting a hole there. You see, the multi-hole strategy is on the one hand good for, for catching as many monsters as possible, but it does also run the risk of you not being able to fill in... Ah, yes, you see. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to end up with a green monster now. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Well, it's early days. 
So let's dispatch a few of these. We don't need all of them to get rid of the uh, the green ones. So we might as well kill off as many red ones as we need as uh, roaming around at the moment. There we go. There's another one. Uh, here comes the green one. Well, let's let's see if we can at least find out whether or not white monster is the final variation. Let's see if we can get him to respawn again. See whether or not he uh, turns into something different. No, he's... that's definitely the final... oh. Ah. Oh, actually, there's no point in me filling that in, otherwise I'll never get rid of the white one. Oh, dear. Oh! <laughs> yes! There we have it. That's not bad at all. Killed a white one with a green one. Extra bonus points there, and an extra life. There you go. Oh, ooh, ooh, dear. Almost lost that extra life straight away there with the monster sandwich. Uh, oh, 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 dear. Too many red monsters to keep track of here. Okay. Well, this is the last life on what might be the last uh, attempt here, because I feel like I've probably managed to just about demonstrate all of the various uh, quirks of the game. Um, but never let it be said that I don't persevere. Oh, well. <laughs> Just as I said that, game over. Okay, well, I think we will probably leave that there for monsters. Um, as you can see from the uh, monster high scores, the top eight, uh, I've, I've given it five attempts. Um, interesting there, that wasn't my best attempt, although I did get an extra extra bonus for the uh, green on white action in that last, uh, that last level. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed exploring monsters with me. Um, many of you will know this game, I'm sure. Um, but it was interesting to find out about the history of it and to discover that it, indeed it does rank as the first ever platformer uh, to have been created in video gaming history. So that was Monsters. I hope you'll join me for the next video in the series. And until then, goodbye.